smoke out in the freaking building, jabroni. Got a new sauce for y'all. Mm -hmm. You know what? It's so funny because I went to... For some reason, I was looking at the sauce. Can't read the ingredients because they're just too small, even with my spectacles on. But uh, I, I said, I better review this today. Need the whole bottle because the expiration date is today. <coughs> um. Anyways, yeah, don't listen to expiration dates on hot sauce. A lot of times, I'm going to say this, if someone's putting out a new sauce even... They will be making their batches, getting their sauces ready before the labels come or before the nutritional facts um, uh, part of the label is comes back to them uh, from the state. So I don't listen to expiration dates when it comes to hot sauce. With everything else, yes. All right, so this is Tomas's Heat Cinnabar Carolina Reaper Hot Sauce. And it's got the little scale over here. You see that? It's red all the way at the top. This means it's as hot as they can get. So this is uh, Tomas's Heat Cinnabar. And thank you, uh, Dr. Duck Butter. This was, I've had it for a while, so Dr. Duck Butter uh, gave me this. Thank you, brother. Um, and so I just still got sauces, you guys can see back here, that I haven't reviewed. And that's a good thing because I still have sauces. To review <clears throat> I get gifted sauces I buy sauces I look for deals on sauces I mean even Black Friday deals whatever stock up on them and then when I'm broke like I am today I don't have to worry about it I got sauces buddy well, it smells really good I did try to read the ingredients guys so I'm sorry but Tomas's heat Cinnabar, Carolina Reaper, hot sauce. Let's go. See if you guys can catch the pour. There you go. There you go. There you go. All over the place. Let's go. Yummy. It smells really good too. Load her up. All right. There's the heat. Woo. That's why I always to make sure I, I don't just do one bite. I'm going to be honest. I see reviewers that have a little spoon, these little tiny spoons. And they take one bite of hot sauce. A lot of times you're not going to be able to really tell how hot it is um, by doing that. Also, it's like you're not giving it a fair share of checking out the flavor profiles. This is hot. It's weird, of course, the first bite, um, I was like, okay, it's not bad. The second bite, as I'm starting to uh, eat it, I started feeling it ramp up, and then once I swallow it, I'm like, yeah, nice mouth burn going. So, um, chili head, you're going to respect this sauce. Non-chili head, it's going to light you up. I don't think it would put you in panic mode. Uh, it's not, you know, like right, challenge level hot, but it's got good heat to it. The flavor is amazing. The consistency is great. Very well balanced. There is a spice in there, something earthy in there that I can't put my finger on, um, which is good. I love, I love not being able to reconstruct <laughs> the sauce, deconstruct the sauce. Um, I've always been very good at that. Me and my wife were talking about last night. And we used to, when I was a chef in the Crown Plaza and whatnot, we used to have like, all the chefs would have these little battles where we'd try to recreate something like 
Old Bay. I won that one. I think I won the Big Mac. I don't know. So anyway, deconstructing something. Um, remaking it. I've always been pretty good at guessing what's in something by tasting it. But sometimes not so much. Now, this is called Cinnabar. Does it have any cinnamon in it? It could. But if it does, it is, it is cooked in that sauce really good. <clears throat> and it doesn't stand out. I just, I literally just reviewed a sauce a month or two ago that had um, white balsamic vinegar, papers, and cinnamon. And you could definitely taste the cinnamon in it. Hmm. Make some eating it with food. Let me try a solo sip. No, I don't think it's cinnamon. There's a spice in there. That's a hot one. Certain spice in there that I can't put my finger on. And it could be dill. It could be something that's, whatever it is, it's something that I haven't tasted in a hot sauce in a while. <clears throat> it was catching me off guard. Anyways, with cinnamon, a lot of people put it in chili. A lot of people don't know that it's in there. It's just, it mends in with it. Like it does something to it. and You just, you just don't know it's there. Mmm. Really good sauce. So shout out to Tomas's Heat. Comment below if you guys have ever had this or any other sauces from Tomas. Mmm. Really good. Really good. That's definitely a... It's different in a good way. Um, so it's, it's got its own uniqueness. Um... Like I said, the pour on it's really nice. It's really smooth. You guys can watch the pour again here. Yeah, you see that. Medium consistency. In between medium and thick, but just perfect. And no, I'm not worried about the expiration date. A lot of times the state tells you, um, based off of your pH level, what expiration date you should put. And with hot sauce, if you got something that's 3.6, 3.5 pH, you're bottling it hot at 180. It's not going to go bad for a very long time. And it really won't even go bad. It'll just turn brown. After a while, and maybe separate. You can still eat it. <clears throat> um, but yeah. I don't think I've ever had hot sauce go bad. But I eat so much of it. I did an experiment in 2021. I made a bottle of hot sauce. And Left it on the table open for like six months. Not open, um, had an orifice reducer on it, so but it still had oxygen was getting to it. And um, I swore after six months it actually got better. <laughs> so <clears throat> now with fruit sauces, guys, keep this in mind. With fruit sauces, especially dessert type fruit sauces, um, you want to get those things in the refrigerator once you open them. Trust me on this. I made a sauce. <clears throat> it was uh, ahi lemon drops, fresh lemon, sugar. Um, and it was slamming. But Mrs. Bullcow left a bottle of it out on the table. And uh, it got it, it separated and got real funky looking. So we chucked it. Um, and another time, an apple sauce. It was apple hot sauce. 
Um, and then those ones, I'm telling you right now, you need to refrigerate them. Them son of a guns, they go bad really quick. Uh, the applesauce was um, sat out. She, this is her fault. She left it on unopened, no top on it. On the table for like, I don't know, a month. And that one actually had a little bit of mold on top. So, don't leave your fruit sauces out. I know, I know, I've seen people do it, and I've seen people get away with it. Um, but anything that's sweet like that, <clears throat> it's like, yeah, I know your pH was low. You know, 3.8, 3.6, 3.5. But that's got so much sugar in it. Yeah, what'll happen? That sugar gets to cooking again on its own. You know, you could run into some issues. Great sauce. Look at this. I'm I'm killing this bottle today. Hmm. There's a spice in there I can't put my finger on. That spice is what makes it unique. It's got Reaper in it, but it's not bitter. Um. Reaper is very hard to work with, guys. If you know anything about making hot sauce, you'll know that <clears throat> um, not only you take these super hots, there's a floral and bitterness to them when they're fresh. When you make a sauce out of them, the floralness goes away. The bitterness does not. That's why a lot of people do mix fruit and sweet things with the, the sauces. Um, and I, I mean, I've, I've only had a couple of like straight Reaper sauces where it's just Reaper, you know, and there's, there's nothing else in it. I've only had a couple that were okay. The rest were terrible. Um, so this has zero bitterness to it at all. And I don't mind a little bit of bitter. It's hot. It's hot. Got good heat. Not crazy. I mean... You know, it's manageable. But the chili head, you'll be like, oh, yeah, I can detect the heat, you know. And you don't want to ever get a sauce that says Reaper and has no heat. That's what happens in the commercial world today, folks. You got Carolina Reaper potato chips. And Carolina Reaper this, Carolina Reaper that. You go in a grocery store, you see even sauces that say Carolina Reaper. You're like, oh, it's going to be hot. You get it? You're like, what the heck is this? It's like Bravado Spice Company's uh, Reaper Black Garlic. And the sauce, evidently by the color of it, doesn't have much black garlic. <laughs> and then you taste it and you're like, it doesn't have much Reaper either. So, yeah. But this, does it represent the Reaper well? Yes. Does it taste good? Absolutely. Tomas's Heat Cinnabar. Thank you, Dr. Duck Butter, for this treat. This is really, really good. I love the smell of it, too. The taste is good, but it's got a pleasant aroma. It's not overly oniony or overly garlicky, which I don't mind if it, any, any sauce is, but very well-balanced sauce. Um, good flavor, nice pour on it. So this is definitely a thumbs up. Not crazy hot, so, um, but it's hot enough. It's just, it's this my level. This is Uncle Bokai level. This is how I like my hot sauce. This is the level I like. My tongue burn's going away right now. Lip burn's still there. Carrying on a little bit. So, yeah, Cinnabar. Tomas' heat. Get you some.